Okay, so in this video, let us try to demystify the De Morgan's law. And we'll look at both of the laws, the De Morgan's law. So let's look at the first law. Now the first law says that the A union B complement, that is the complement of union of two sets is equal to the intersection of the individual complements. Now how do we prove it? So the approach that we are going to take is, we first take the left hand side and do that operation, okay, do this A union B and take the complement using a Venn diagram and then we do the right hand side of the operation, okay, and see if we get the same result or not. And while doing so, we will uh, get an intuitive feeling of why this law works. Now let us say that this is the universal set. This is set A and this is set B. Similarly, this is the universal set U. The orange circle is set A and this is set B. Now let us first try to take care of the left hand side of the operations. First we need to take do A union B. Now if you recollect A union B simply means combining both the sets that is A and B. Now let me use the light green color to show this part. Now this shows A union B. Okay and I'm going to just label it so this shows A union B. Okay now to change the color what is going to be the complement of this now this is straightforward complement of a union b is all those elements that are not contained within a union b which means everything outside both of these circles so that would be this part okay so thing that is outside So this represents A union B complement. So what we got from the left hand side? We got everything that is outside these two circles, right? That is what we got as A union B complement. Everything that is outside does not fall within these two sets A and B. That is what we got as A union B complement, which makes sense, right? You just combine two sets and then take everything else which does, does, doesn't combine, uh, uh, which does not have any element from that combined set, okay? Now let's look at what happens when we take the individual complement. So what is A complement? And uh, so I'm going to use the green color for showing A complement. So A complement is everything that is outside A, right? We just don't want A to come in. So everything outside A. Now please note that B, this part of the set B is also, it consists of elements that are not within A and therefore this also falls within the complement of A. Okay, so this part I would say is A complement. Okay, now let us look at the other part which is B complement. Now B complement is nothing but everything except for the elements within B over here. So I'm using an orange color. So essentially we have everything here. Now please note that this part of A is also falling within the B complement, right? Because that part doesn't belong to A. The elements in this part do not belong to A. Now we are supposed to find out what is the common what what are the common elements between a complement and b complement right now we have to find out the common elements so in that case you would find out that the common area or the common element is actually outside the circles right and why would that be the whole idea is that it has to be common bit it has to be common in a and b now this part right this part here 
which is a part of B complement and this part here which is the part of A complement I'm just saying the, the, these are actually the, the elements within this this region are the part of A complement they are not common to the individual elements right and therefore we have to exclude this region we have to exclude this region from that and therefore you can see what we get is just the area that is outside these two sets and if you look at it intuitively we have proved that a union b complement is equal to a complement intersection b complement or to put it in words the complement of union of two sets is equal to the intersection of the individual complements okay